In today's video, we are restoring an antique photograph from the turn of the 20th century. Photographs like this were mounted to a heavy cardstock while wet, and then pressed into a convex shape to fit the rounded glass in an oval frame. This gave the image an illusion of depth and was a very popular style of portraiture from the 1880s until about 1940. Unfortunately, over time, these types of photographs often crack or tear due to their highly acidic and unstable cardstock backing. In order to preserve and restore the original image, the cardstock backing is removed using a modified palette knife. The backside is then lightly sanded to ensure the surface is smooth and even for linen backing. An acid-free adhesive is applied to the back side of the photograph. The moisture in the adhesive helps the paper to relax flat. The photograph is then adhered to a stretched canvas frame lined with acid-free paper. We use Holytex to protect the front of the photograph during this process. Missing paper is added using an acid-free paper that is similar in tone to the photograph. A Teflon folder is used to help secure and smooth out the patched paper. The excess paper around the patches are trimmed off using a modified palette knife so the surface is even with the photograph. Powdered pigments are mixed together to start the color tinting process for our filler compound. We start by using an acid-free, water-soluble filler compound and then add our mixed powdered pigments. Using a tinted compound that is similar in color to our photograph will allow us to use less paint during the restoration process. Methyl cellulose is applied to help smooth out raised and rough areas. The color tinted filler compound is then added to small holes, tears, and paper patches. The dried excess filler is removed using various tools to create a smooth and even surface for in painting. Restoration is performed using various mediums, including water-based paints and colored pencils. Photographic portraits from this period were often enhanced with charcoal or chalk pastel to make them appear sharper or to add color, which is why they often resemble drawings or paintings.
early photographic methods often required long exposure times, sometimes lasting several minutes to several hours. This meant that subjects had to remain incredibly still to avoid blurring. To help with this, photographers sometimes use props or even special posing chairs with headrests to keep their subjects steady. As a result, many early photographs feature people with stiff, formal poses and serious expressions, which was partly due to the need for the long exposure times. The photograph is then cut from the frame and the linen margin is trimmed to the client's specifications. The acid-free backing is more durable, allowing the photograph to be reframed safely. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.